Hello and welcome to a new Dominion Homework video. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. And today I want to show you the Church Crossroad combo, uh, which is a combo that lets you consistently, without support, single province quite early and, yeah, as I said, quite consistently. Um, or it also just lets you thin your deck quickly and draw the cards you want, like play some other payload cards. It's, that's also possible. But let's first show the way to way to province. You want to open with two churches. So, well, if you have a 5-2, I guess, try something else. <laughs> so, now I didn't find one of the churches in turn 3, which is a bit sad. Um, but now I want to buy uh, crossroads. Here, I want to buy a second crossroads. Trash coppers. Be careful not to trash estates. And we already have a decently crossroad. There's another crossroad in here. We tuck away all our estates and copper. And I think we want a third crossroad. Treasure Copper, play the crossroads, play the crossroads, and we already draw our deck. Well, granted, there's not much in our deck, but now we tuck away two estates and the crossroads, set up the next turn, and well, let's see. We could, of course, uh, go with Patron here, there's not really any disadvantage to going patron over silver so let's do that but usually you would buy a silver here so that you can afford a gold next turn crossroads crossroads patron and then save away to estates with the crossroads to kick off the next turn very well oh we also have a crossroads patron interaction well that's nice <laughs> Patron reveals, uh, Crossroads reveals the hand. So we get quite a bit of coffer support from that. Let's just ignore coffers for now. Because that will make it even better. Play the two Crossroads. Play the Patron. And again, store away those. And we can already province. And I think we should. I mean, there's tournament, of course, from our opponent, but ignoring the opponent, we would province here that increases the odds of crossroads hitting green, and then we buy another gold next turn. Or we just don't trash coppers anymore, but I like trashing a bit more. Let's buy another gold here, ignore the coffers. Uh, well, we can't trash, unfortunately, but that's okay. Well, actually, we shouldn't, shouldn't store away the province here because of tournament in the opponent's deck. Always keep in mind the rest of the board. Um, but I'm just clicking through it now. We can see we are very unlikely to dot, if ever. Always storing the crossroads with the two um, estates. At some point we could trash an estate. But of course, prefer to trash the coppers. We now have exactly eight coins, not counting the coffers in our deck, which is what we want. Could of course try to play more aggressively, keep more coppers if it's like mirrored, and you only really need five provinces. Then you keep more coppers and probably only buy one gold, one silver, three coppers, and go for green from there. That saves you a turn. So the main way we dot now is if we don't find a second crossroads. And we 
bit of trash. Oh, see, we can even store away two crossroads here. Now the main way to dot would be no finding no green, but that is very unlikely. As we see here, didn't happen. We can do again do this. We have a crossroads down here. Get another province. And yeah, that's the game. So Turt took 15 turns to consistently by single provinces. Um, the bot got one, I guess. I'm not sure. So yeah, we have seven provinces in 15 turns, which is a great benchmark. That's hard to beat. Um, so what do you have to look for? Of course, there shouldn't be something that's quicker than that. Um, and often there is. There are discard attacks that hurt this quite a bit, but not that much. You might still like Co uh, incorporate crossroads and church into your strategy because kicking off the turn with those extra cards is real nice. Um, then you probably want to play the attack yourself as well. Uh, but just don't expect this to work as smoothly with a discard attack around. Um, bureaucrat might hurt <laughs> as an attack, but even discards attacks, you still have the crossroads of two estates and probably three other green cards in your hand. So it might just be fine. Um, yeah, Think about when you want to green, if you want to be greedy and uh, keep three coppers, gold, silver, which is usually what uh, allows you to province consistently already, get to, to five provinces, but it's more likely to dart than what we did. So if your opponent isn't mirroring and you think you have the time, you th probably should trash a bit more, get a second gold. So yeah, that's the combo. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.